start with Novak. Your reaction to his conclusions? Well, I didn't. I didn't watch it yesterday. I just saw your setup piece, and and uh, Novak is telling um, another story to another interviewer. Uh, when I talked to him on the phone uh, after he published his article, he had told me that he had a CIA source, and then he quoted two senior administration sources. I went back and asked him what was it, CIA or administration. He said he misspoke when he said it was CIA. Now he's saying Harlow was one of his sources. Harlow, who was the spokesman for George Tenet out at the CIA, has been reported on several occasions as having said he told Novak not to use uh, Valerie's name. That, by the way, is sort of the standard CIA language for warning a uh, reporter who may have stumbled on the identity of an operative uh, not to violate the national security of the country by exposing that operative's uh, uh, name and identity. To say the least, uh, his statements seem a little unclear, a little self-contradictory. He's not the only one in this case of whom that could be said. Is that the point or a point of this lawsuit to clarify for the record who did and what and why? Well, I think getting the truth out is obviously one of the objectives. We'd like everybody to know precisely what happened. We'd like to know precisely what happened and why they did this. I think uh, the broader issue, of course, is whether or not uh, individuals uh, who have enormous power in uh, our democracy should be entitled to use that power to exact personal revenge, which, of course, is what this administration did from Mr. Cheney on down. As to uh, process here, not in the lawsuit, but what, what all that has led up to it, are you any clearer in your mind as to what exactly happened than you were three years ago? Are, are you certain, for instance, that the exposure of your wife was deliberate and not some sort of inadvertent result of incompetent people playing with fire? Well, when you see the vice president annotating a copy of my, of my opinion piece with uh, did his wife send him on a junket, that's essentially a talking point to his staff. So the, the, uh, the uncovering or the, the compromise of her identity was clearly deliberate. The question is why I think we now know from a number of the filings in the, in the Libby case that the vice president thought that his manhood was threatened, or certainly that was the excuse, that somehow he felt, having read three articles, that perhaps I was suggesting he had sent me. Ironically, none of those three articles say it. The Christoph article, the Spencer Ackman article in the uh, New Republic, and my own article all make very clear that it was the office of the vice president that asked the question that led the CIA to send me. The vice president later acknowledged that he asked the question. Indeed, I would argue the vice president was well within his rights and his obligations to have asked the question, because if Saddam had purchased uh, uranium from uh, Niger, it would have been only for a nuclear program. It was a question worthy of asking. It was a question that got a serious response. Uh, the fact that the vice president didn't read the articles and somehow thought that, that he was being uh, targeted in this is unfortunate, but that's his problem. That's not, I, not my problem. I wrote my article. Uh, he just didn't read it very well. My own view, of course, is, is that that's just a subterfuge, that they decided that rather than come clean on a misstatement of fact, a falsehood in the State of the Union address, they decided this was one way that they were going to justify uh, this character assassination and smear campaign, and uh, part of which was a compromise of Valerie's identity. And that route was what do you think at this point? Was Rove to Libby to Cheney to no, Rove? I think Do you it, know that yet? I, I suspect. My theory is that, is that Cheney basically uh, annotated the, uh, the article, uh, which was the equivalent of saying, well, no one rid me of this troublesome mm -hmm. um, priest. And uh, Libby and perhaps others, uh, and uh, Mr. Rove uh, certainly then went around and, uh, and leaked Valerie's name, among other things. Now, Libby argues that they just wanted to get the facts out. Of course, the facts that they didn't get out in leaking this information were that the White House had been told on three occasions in early October, we don't want the president to be a witness of fact in this matter because the evidence is weak and the British have exaggerated the case. Uh, the deputy national security advisor later offered his resignation because he found these documents in his files. The, the, getting the facts out did not include getting the national intelligence officer's letter out which was circulated around the administration in January and represented the consensus view of the American intelligence community that the Niger claim was, quote, baseless. Those were not the facts they were getting out. Uh, the stuff that they were getting out were just basically the um, crap, uh, mm. for want of a better word, uh, that, uh, that it, it seeped into the State of the Union address in the first place.